Most TVs leave a lot to be desired in terms of audio quality, and all can be improved with a soundbar upgrade. Even the best TVs with impressive pictures typically come with subpar speakers, which is why it's worth investing in a separate dedicated speaker for your TV. Soundbars are a much more affordable alternative to home theater speakers and AV receivers, while still providing powerful and immersive audio, and they will take up a lot less room in your house as well. To help you find the best one for your needs, we've rounded up the best soundbars. We are going to start with number 5, Vizio M-Series M21 DH8R Soundbar. The Vizio M-Series M21 DH8R is a 2.1 soundbar with two subwoofers integrated into the bar. It's neutral, though slightly boomy sound profile makes it suitable for listening to lots of different types of audio content, and it even has a few EQ presets to help you customize its sound. Unfortunately, it can't really reproduce low bass, so you don't feel the deep thumps and rumbles in action-packed movies or bass-heavy music. Also, while it gets loud, there's a lot of compression when you play it at max volume, which is disappointing if you like to crank up the volume at parties. This is a great entry-level soundbar if you don't have much to spend. It has a sleek design and surprisingly good bass for a soundbar that doesn't come with a subwoofer. We've recommended Vizio bars for years for their ease of use, and this one definitely ticks that box, with an HDMI ARC connection that allows your TV remote to control the volume and a Bluetooth connection for quickly playing your favorite tunes. The only downside? While it does have plenty of bass, a dedicated subwoofer would certainly help when watching Michael Bay films. The Vizio M-Series 2.1 soundbar is alright for mixed usage. It has a pretty neutral, though slightly boomy sound profile that makes it suitable for listening to a wide range of audio content. Unfortunately, it lacks low bass, so you don't really feel the deep rumbles in action-packed movie scenes. It also has to downmix surround content into stereo, and it doesn't support Dolby Atmos content. However, there are a few sound enhancement features available, which is nice. Number 4. Sennheiser AMBO Soundbar Maximum The original AMBO Soundbar, recently renamed AMBO Soundbar Max, was always an anomaly within its own brand's product lineup, and even now that it finally has a sibling, it remains uniquely distinct from pretty much every other home cinema sound product on the market. While the AMBO Soundbar Max may be a space-saving surround solution, flexible it is not. Measuring 127 cm wide and 14 cm tall, it's an absolute beast and requires some creativity and heavy lifting to get into place. We're not ones for pre-judging products, but we have to admit that we didn't expect the Sennheiser Ambio soundbar to be nearly as good as it is. Surely it couldn't be worth the high price and comparative hassle. Yes, it's expensive for a soundbar, relatively huge and quite fussy over positioning, but these design compromises have been made in the name of better sonic performance and, by and large, they have paid off. In using bigger, higher quality drivers, the Ambio soundbar can produce audio with natural tonality, cohesion, and solidity, and the 3D audio processing is some of the best we've heard in a product of this type. Not only that, it has wide-ranging format support, a plethora of streaming options and in-depth optimization features. For the same price and similar space allocation, you could buy a pair of excellent HDMI-enabled stereo speakers, but if support for 3D sound formats is essential for you, then the Ambio is one of the best ways to enjoy immersive sound in your room without filling it with lots of individual speakers. Number 3, Samsung HWQ990B Soundbar. The Samsung Q990B is a full 360-degree sound system in a box, with a total of 11 horizontal and 4 height channels in addition to a subwoofer for full Dolby Atmos spatial audio support. It supports Amazon Alexa, Apple AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, Spotify Connect, and some unique features only available if you also have a high-end Samsung TV. At $1,899.99, this soundbar is expensive, 
but if you want surround sound that lets you hear audio literally all around you. The main sound bar weighs 17 pounds and measures 2.5 by 48 by 5.3 inches, HWD with the left and right corners of the front panel set at a diagonal. The sound bar alone packs seven of the system's 11.1.4, 16 in total channels, left, center, and right on the front surface, left and right width on the diagonal corners, and left and right height projecting upward from the top surface. The entire front and top surfaces of the sound bar are covered with a metal grille protecting all the drivers inside, as well as the small panel holding for rubber controls for multifunction, play pause, volume up down, and MIC on off. An LED display on the right side of the front grille shows the bar status, along with the current input and volume level. The Samsung Q990B is one of the most feature-rich sound bars available, with a price to match, but its 11.1.4 channels produce 360-degree, whole-room audio that far surpasses what any TV speaker can deliver. It isn't perfect. One of its more interesting features, Q-Symphony, is sadly locked away unless you have a compatible Samsung TV. I also had difficulties using Alexa with the soundbar, and the system's Bluetooth codec support is decidedly low-end. Apple AirPlay 2 and Spotify Connect help get around that last problem, especially if you have an iPhone. Despite these qualms, the sound quality is excellent, particularly for movies, with plenty of balance and power to drive a party with your favorite tunes. If you're looking for a Dolby Atmos compatible soundbar that can get the most out of spatial audio via height channels, the Q990B is a compelling, but pricey, choice. Number 2. Poke Audio Senior S4 Ultra Slim Soundbar The Poke Senior S4 is a Dolby Atmos soundbar, featuring 3.1.2 channels of playback, left, right, center, front overheads and a wireless subwoofer. It offers a number of connection options and an array of useful sound modes. One standout feature of previous Poke soundbars has been its sound modes, movie, music, night and, especially, voice adjust. The latter mode enables three separate levels of adjustment which brings it up against Svox a company that also offers a number of configurable, hearing-enhancing modes. The main downside with this soundbar is that you can't adjust the levels of any of the channels, bar the sub. If you have tall or vaulted ceilings, for example, you may not be able to hear the overheads at all, which is something other soundbars like the Vizio m 512 they let you fix. While some models on the market allow you to add rears later, the Senior S4 does not. If rear channels are something you want, then you should look at the Poke React or Magni FI soundbars instead. If you want true Dolby Atmos that's also affordable, then the Poke Senior S4 is the cheapest I've seen so far. A low price doesn't mean lacking performance, though, because the Poke is as solid as the other speakers in the line, for music and movies alike. What if you're trying to keep it in the family? If you're deciding between the Poke React and the Senior S4, for example, be aware that they are quite different. The React trades Atmos for Alexa while also ditching the subwoofer. If you want a ready-to-go system that plugs into a TV and sounds great, the Senior S4 is definitely the one to choose. It doesn't include much in the way of streaming capabilities or expandability, but it'll give you sterling performance as soon as it's out of the box. And that's all you really need. Finally at the top of the list we have, Vizio M Series M512 AH6 5.1.2 Immersive Soundbar. The Vizio M512 AH6 is a surround system consisting of a main soundbar, a 6-inch subwoofer and two wired rear speakers. Notable additions over the SB36512 include the ability to handle competitive DTS, X format, Atmos chief competitor, as well as the latest HDMI EARC connectivity. The soundbar itself is 40 inches wide and a relatively tall 2.68 inches high, while it extends back 4 inches on an avenue stand. The main grille, which hides three sets of mid drivers and tweeters, is made of fabric, while the one that hides the two upfring drivers is made of perforated plastic. 
These two drivers are closer to the center than most Atmos speakers, but still work well to beam Atmos effects off your ceiling and down into the room. The Visio features four different types of physical connectivity, HDMI and out, with the ARC, optical, USB, for WAV playback, naturally, and two 3.5mm headphone size analog input jacks. The second of those two 3.5mm connections is designed to connect a smart speaker like the Amazon Echo Dot, and the soundbar volume will mute if you issue it a command. If you want the most cost-effective way to get true Dolby Atmos playback, nothing beats the Vizio M512AH6. Due to microchip shortages it's no longer possible to buy even an entry-level Atmos AV receiver for less than the price of the Vizio, and afterward you'd still have to add speakers and a sub. If you already own a streamer, and don't need onboard Chromecast audio, the Vizio offers excellent performance in movies and music alike. The M512AH6 earns our hearty recommendation for both home cinema fans and people looking to listen to their favorite album.